Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to DayZ's Point Six Zero Stable Branch Update. If you're regular to my channel, you'll know most of what's new in 6.0 already, so without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to talk about the major part of 6.0, which is Infusion Engine's renderer technology in its first iteration. There are many more features to come for Infusion's renderer tech, but with this being its first public iteration, it gives us chance to test and get feedback to the development team. And the most important part of this so far is DirectX 11 support and a significant FPS boost. Personally, on my system specs, I noticed an FPS increase at least two times from 5.9 to 6.0. Oh, and you may want to keep in mind that on 6.0 I'm running on maximum settings, whereas on 5.9 I would be a mixture between low and medium. This goes for all areas of Chernerus, whether it be in big towns like Novo or Cherno, or lost out in the wilderness. And while this is a significant FPS increase from the get-go, do keep in mind it's its first iteration of the technology. There will be many more optimizations to come in the near future, as well as more features to the Infusion renderer, like the particle system, which we're yet to see in action. Another change alongside the renderer technology is a new inventory system, as the old inventory from 5.9 just wasn't supported by DirectX 11. Past the impressive first implementation of the Infusion render technology, we also have some map changes to Generous, a new layout for Electro, a nice little church placed on what we used to call Junior Sniper Hill, and of course, don't forget the coastal fog that accompanied Infusion's render technology, reducing visibility greatly, as well as the chances of Sniper Hill bandits. We also have a Chernogorsk redesign as well as a Krasnostav redesign. All three of these towns have more roadblocks, more debris, more overgrowth a more damaged appearance to road textures and footpath textures, and of course, if you're anything like me, a lot of getting lost, as these new layouts do change things up a little bit. Industrial has been increased in size with Yellow Top and Blue Top having been moved to a different location, and Yellow Top Industrial seeming to have its structure also changed slightly, like offset ladders making it easier to ascend and descend the tower, as well as a little storage room for those pesky snipers to camp inside when under fire. And if that isn't enough for you, why not go and visit one of Chernerus's main attractions, the Tolga Ski Slopes? Of course, the ski slopes are non-operational, but working ski slopes are the least of your worries when the infected can now climb walls. And when you mix jumping infected with a new weather and night system, you're in for a scary time. And if you manage to survive long enough to travel far northwest, you may stumble across Tizzy Military Base, which is very large, covered in trees and foliage, contains some new structures, and potentially a future contamination zone. Ugh, just look at these new mass graves. And on top of all of that, don't forget the chance to find a weapon with an attachment already with it, as well as the chance of finding random loot in pieces of clothing and backpacks. Oh, and before I forget, those of you who've always wanted to attach some optics to your FN foul, well now you can. And why not do it in style, with the new slack paints coming in various colours like You Can't See Me Hiding in the Foliage Bright White and I'm Glad I Chose to Wear the Brown Pants Today Brown. Once you're suited up, go on the hunt for a motocross helmet and run around a field making motocross noises. <coughs> oh for fuck. Fancy yourself a radio DJ? Well, why not go hit up Altair, where you can... Man, these guys are gonna love my gags today. Aha! You thought I'd forgot, didn't you? Well, I didn't, and the Assault Backpack is in, with a 32-slot capacity, plenty of room for all of your stolen goods, or the new fishing rod found at the fishing boats along the coast. And now it's time for one of my personal favourite additions to 6-0. That is the new reload mechanic. With a bolt-action rifle or a pump-action shotgun, every round you fire, you'll have to manually rechamber the next round by pressing the R key. This also works with the repeater. And if you do so with the Magnum, you can play Russian Roulette. It's not finalised yet, but the foundations are there. I really hope I haven't missed too much for this showcase. If I did miss anything out, do let me know in the comments below. But most of all, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found out a thing or two about 6-0 on Stable Branch. Let me know you enjoyed the video by smacking that like button, and I'll see you peeps next time.